I saw her using this white crystal ball. Do you know what is this? Oh wait, this is naphthalene. It is a common moth repellent. Wow, it smells so pleasant. Don't inhale it too much. It is an aromatic compound which can be toxic for humans. I wonder how it's made up of. Are you guys curious about it? So let's explore. Hello friends, welcome to my chemistry lab. Today we are going to dive into the fantastic world of naphthalene. Naphthalene at its core is a flat planar cyclic hydrocarbon made up of two benzene rings fused together. Let us now dive into its molecular structure with the help of a clay model. Naphthalene is a polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon consisting of 10 carbon and 8 hydrogen. Each carbon is sp2 hybridized which implies a bond angle of 120 degree each. Carbon bond in naphthalene are not of same length. In particular, C1 and C2 bond is shorter than C2 and C3 bond with average length of 1.4 armstrong. This molecule weighs up to 128.19 gram per mole with vapor density of 0.087 mmHg at 25 degree. It's melt at 80 degree Celsius and boils at 218 degree Celsius. As carbon atom is sp2 hybridized, one pz orbital is left unhybridized, which leads to a pi bond. As naphthalene is a non-polar compound, it doesn't dissolve in polar solvent like water, but do dissolve in solvent like carbon disulfide. Chemistry lovers, hold on. Here is something more interesting. Naphthalene is not just a passive participant but an active player during chemical reactions. It undergoes a typical electrophilic substitution reaction in which an electrophile replaces hydrogen at positions 1 and 2. Naphthalene uses is not only limited to its moth repelling property but also find its application as cleaning agent, pesticide, insecticide, preparation of drugs and medicines and even in preparation of dyes and paints. And remember to stay safe, stay curious and keep exploring the world of science. Bye.